Okay, all of these apps, when you try to select something, look, I'm rolling over. I've got smart view. I've got smart guides on. And when I come over these, they get highlighted. But when I click on them, everything gets selected. And, well, not everything. The clipping mask gets selected. So let's click away. Let's come right on that path. This is a clipping mask. In order to release your cl clipping mask, right-click and select surprisingly enough, release clipping mask. Depending upon the size of your pixel grid items, okay? The example I showed you had larger pixel grid squares, and that's set up in the, in the pixel grid settings. You notice that, hey, look at that. We've got stuff coming off the artboard. So now, Here's where it would be nice if you just click and drag and selected everything here and then grouped it, Command-G, clicked on the Artboard tool, and then, because you grouped these, you can double-click, double, oh, double left-click. I was right-clicking like a bonehead. Um, and now the artboard is the same size. If the artboard went around one of these that you double clicked on, that means you didn't group everything. So now I'm gonna get back to the black arrow, come back here, and when I select everything, there it is. Okay, see this remnant of the artboard? It's not, a, it's not the artboard, it's something in pixel grid. So I'm gonna come down here, hover until I hit that path, click once on it, Oh no, I grouped everything. So now I'm gonna ungroup, shift command G, and then click, and then come down and hover, click, and I just select this one rectangle. Hit delete, and then once again, I'm gonna click and drag across, and look, there it is again. What is up with that? Camden, what is up with that? So where is that? Where'd it go? So if I just come down here, there it is. So I'm just going to select this one little piece here. So now all I have selected is this square and this thing here that I was having trouble selecting. So I can shift click on this square to deselect it. Then I still have this crazy thing here. And I'm going to hit delete. And it wasn't a remnant of the artboard because it went right to the edge of that. So now I have no idea what that was. But however, Look at that. Now I've just got the pixel grid um, squares. And how big are they? That is the width is 50 pixels. And if I set this in the upper left-hand corner, it's zero, zero. When I click on this one, I know it's 50 pixels wide, but it's now at 60. So that means that my gap here is 10 pixels. Why is that important? Well, if I want to work exactly like this, well, it's perfect. If I want a 10 pixel border around the outside, if I want this white to continue around the outside, you know, your mileage may vary. I am going to work on this just like this. But if, let's say, hey, I want that white out here too. I want everything surrounded on four sides by white, every single square. Well, if there's 10 pixels between these, you need 10 pixels at the top, 10 pixels at the left, right? Right? So you choose the artboard tool, and then you have the artboard selected. If we want to resize this 10 pixels in both directions, the easiest way to do it is to select the center. And you can see this is 1070. So 1070 plus 10 plus 10 is 1090, tab 1090. And because we have this center point in the registration selected, now our artboard gives us extended out that extra um, 10 pixels. However, the next step is to take this into Photoshop. And I'll tell you right now, when you take this into Photoshop, Photoshop's not going to recognize these extra 10 pixels. It's just going to say, okay, well, you selected these things. So if you want that white to be included in Photoshop, and again, I am not going to do this. But if you want it, here's how you do it. I'm going to hit this black and white in order to get the default colors 
I'm going to get rid of the black stroke and select the white fill with the rectangle tool. Come up here and it's going to intersect. We're going to snap that right from one corner to another and we're working on that bottom layer so this is not going to go over the top of my artwork. And with this selected, you see the width and height are 1090 by 1090. So you have everything perfectly. So now if you copy everything and man C and then jump over to Photoshop and hit command N here, it says 1090 by 1090. But like I told you, I don't want that in Photoshop. So all I have to do, because I'm not going to use this, is to throw that layer away and it's gone. And then these are still grouped. These are not still grouped. So I'm going to select everything and Command G to group them. And now once again, click on the artboard tool and then double click. Whoops. Why am I double right clicking? Uh, double click and the artboard is now correctly sized and we can copy and paste this command C, jump over to Photoshop command N and now my new document says 1070 by 1070. Whatever it is that you copied now, I'm going to hit the letter F to get everything back. Now I can just hit Command V. What do I want to paste this as? Now, normally we come in as a smart object, but I'm just going to paste pixels because upsampling this um, is going to work perfectly with Sue's uh, upsampling reminder of how to do this with nearest neighbor. All right, let's come back and get to the next step.